Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the Apple TV 2 or the second generation Apple TV on iOS 5.2, which is essentially the Apple TV equivalent of iOS 6.1. Now, in order to jailbreak the Apple TV, to install third-party utilities or FireCore's Apple TV Flash Black, we're going to use Season Pass. So first, what you need to do is download Season Pass. I'll have a link to a post on my website down below in the more info that contains download links for both Windows Windows and OS X based computers alike. Now, once you have Season Pass downloaded, all you have to do is open it up on your computer, and then from here, simply click the left option, which is Create IPSW. So just give it some time and be patient. It will automatically go out to Apple's server and download the latest firmware for the Apple TV 2, which as of now, again, is iOS 5.2, which as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is essentially the Apple TV equivalent of iOS 6.1 for iDevices. All right, and I'm just going to let Season Pass download the firmware, and I'll be right back once it finishes. Okay, and now that Season Pass is download 5.2, it's automatically validating and unzipping the firmware. Now, you will see it go through a couple of different stages here inside of Season Pass. Don't worry, you won't have to do anything. Again, at this point, it is fully automated, and it will take care of the process for now until you have to plug in your Apple TV and enter DFU mode, which I'll go over once the time comes. And I'm just going to let this part play through so you guys can see approximately how long it will take. Again, I did cut out the downloading firmware portion because that all depends on your internet speed and how busy Apple's servers are. All right, and what it wants you to do now is plug in your Apple TV. So I have the micro USB cable plugged directly into the micro USB port, which is found below the HDMI port, and I also have my power cable connected. Now, if iTunes pops up, you can go ahead and just minimize it, and once you have your Apple TV connected to your computer, you're going to use your Apple TV remote, and you're going to hold down the menu and pause play buttons together for a total of seven seconds. Now, once that seven seconds is up, the indicator light on the front of your Apple TV will begin flashing rapidly. And just let go of the buttons and it will automatically go through the process. So let's bring up Season Pass over here. As you can see, it says it's found my Apple TV in DFU mode. And right now it's actually in the process of installing the jailbroken firmware on the Apple TV. You don't need to do anything right now. This part is completely automated. As you can see, it even brought up the proper firmware directory, and it will even bypass the restore prompt, and it will automatically finish the process. And as you can see, it even says inside of Season Pass that the iTunes Restore script has run successfully. Alright, now at this point, Season Pass has served its purpose, and iTunes has taken over to restore the Apple TV to the jailbroken firmware or custom IPSW that was created. So at this point, all you really need to do is just sit back and wait for iTunes. Okay, and now iTunes is moving on to verifying Apple TV software. Again, this is all very standard. What it's doing is just restoring to the firmware that Season Pass created. And now iTunes has popped up with a 1602 error. If you get a 1602 or even a 1601 error at the end of your restore, that's fine. At this point, you're done. And even though iTunes comes up with an error, your Apple TV has been successfully jailbroken and the firmware restore was successful. So what you need to do is just unplug your Apple TV and then plug it into your actual TV. So I'm going to change the camera angle here and I'll be right back. And now simply plug in your power cord and your HDMI cable into the the Apple TV. And now just wait for the Apple TV to boot up. As you can see over here in the left, I'm going to go through the setup for the Apple TV and I'll be right back. And once you finish the setup for your Apple TV, it should boot into its normal interface. However, now instead of the regular settings icon, you should see the new Firecore icon, which does confirm that you are jailbroken. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you jailbreak your Apple TV 2 on iOS 5.2 or 6.1.
Now don't forget to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section to be automatically entered to win a $100 iTunes gift card. And finally, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.